Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> she is terrible this one. <laughs> she wants she to knows. Be in. She wants to she be knows. the video is you. She's gonna pay some quinces. <laughs> so this <laughs> it's quince season everyone. And this is our harvest. Actually, well, <laughs> <laughs> this is our real harvest. We've got one quince from our baby quince tree, which, to be <laughs> honest, not to disrespect all these other quinces that our friends Kez and Steve gave us, and Danielle gave us some too, but this is ours, and to be honest, it's the nicest one. <laughs> well, that's probably because the tree only had to produce the one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, had we only had ours, well, yeah, we would have had nothing. Well, we wouldn't make much <laughs> with that. But it, it is the, the tree that's been that's grown the most from all the baby trees we planted two years ago. So that's good. Hopefully we'll have more next year. But as you can see, there's no shortage of these quinces. Because a lot of people don't know what to do with them, really. Um, they seem like a pretty harsh, woody fruit. They're related to apples and pears. But uh, when you cook them... They're delicious. And a lot of people make chutneys and pastes with them, but... Which is nice. Yes, but we're only two, and it will last us forever we make I a think so. I think so. <laughs> if we turned all... I've got 18 kilos here. <laughs> if I turned 18 kilos into a, a chutney or a paste, I don't think we'll ever eat it all. No. So we prefer to do something we actually eat. We've been... We've kind of learned this when it comes to preserving food. If after the first year you haven't eaten your year's stock of whatever you preserved, obviously next year maybe make less. Because <laughs> it's a waste of jars, a waste of food, you know? So you have to figure out what you actually eat within the year. Time, because it takes time to preserve. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to... I'll put the recipe in the description <laughs> below. Um, for each kilo of unpeeled and uncored quinces, You'll need about 250 to 300 grams of sugar, about 600, 700 milliliters of water, and about 20 milliliters of lemon juice. Um, I've got a couple of hundred milliliters of lemon juice here, and I have a big pot of water here. So what we're going to do now is just peel them, core them, and slice them into, you can slice them any way you want, just as long as they're not more than like about a quarter inch thick. Um, I'm going to put half the lemon juice into my water here just so they don't go brown and we're going to go ahead and peel them all like I said, core them, slice them and chuck them in the water and then once we're done with that we can get on with cooking so let's do this yeah, let's do it I think I'll start chopping. Now watch your hands when you're doing this because they're quite tough quinces. So just quarter them and then you can remove the core just like any other apple or pear. There you go. And then slice them about a quarter inch. So something like that. Okay, so that's it. I can't boil them in this pot because this pot is aluminium and if you do boil them in an aluminium pot, you'll end up changing the color. So uh, the biggest stainless steel pan I have is about half this size, so I'll have to do them in two lots. Alrighty, so in goes all the sugar. It does look like a lot of sugar, but I mean, they're quinces poached in a sugar syrup, so <laughs> that's what it is. In goes the lemon juice, the, the remaining half and all the water. It is, to be honest, it is a bit overcrowded, but I'm trying to do them in two batches instead of three, so as long as I just stir them like this, they should be fine, eh? Just keep stirring them as they cook and reduce. This is after, it's been about 10, 15 minutes for it to start boiling, and now just make, I'm just make sure that I keep stirring them so they go cooked evenly, and I'll cook them for about an hour. And this is what you get after an hour. Yummy, yummy quinces. They're still quite firm, but they're really, really nice. And the syrup has reduced, as you can see. Alrighty, time to sterilize the jars. Just put them into boiling water for a good 15 minutes. 
and watch your hands obviously pull them out and put them onto a clean kitchen towel and just let them dry and then we can go ahead and start filling them don't forget the lids alrighty so fill them up to about an inch with an inch of headspace don't push them down too much and then we can top up with the sugar syrup up until half an inch so leave half an inch of headspace at this point you're going to want to get a knife and just slide down the side of the jar just so you remove all the air bubbles and then clean the rims close the lids tightly and then we can put them into a bath of boiling water for 15 minutes just make sure the water is at least an inch over the jars and just boil them up for 15 minutes and that's pretty much it and there you have it and um, these are well cooled now we left them overnight over here and that's what you end up with a beautiful pinkish mm. firm uh, quince <laughs> Molly's good. Molly wants to come in <laughs> let me open for her you heard us talking to the camera. <laughs> you heard us talking to no. the camera. Move up. Move up. You did nothing wrong. Well. You did nothing wrong. Well. Oh, okay, pretty good. You're pretty good. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things you can do with these. I love them because I can whip up a, a quince crumble pretty quick. So I just grab about half a jar or a bit more, depending on how many people, and then just make a quick crumble with oats and almonds and flour, butter, cinnamon. <laughs> Is that right? Um, yeah, and you can put them in cakes. There's a lot of things. Um, I did have about one litre of syrup left over, which is fine. Uh, the recipe will vary depending on the size of your quinces. So we had a lot of small ones, so ratio of the core to actual quince fruit um, is higher. So that's why we ended up with a bit extra. But if you have nice big ones, it should be, it, it will, uh, it should be enough. But I still, I, I use this sugar syrup to flavor my cocktails or drinks. So when we make um, like margaritas or whatever, instead of, if we don't have triple sec or we, we don't buy triple sec anymore, we can just add a bit of that. Or in my shakes in the morning, a mango shake, I put a couple of tablespoons of that. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, subscribe. And if you want to see more, then hit that notification bell because you'll be informed every time we put on a new <laughs> video. And also, we have good news, thanks very much to our patrons, because thanks to them, we are now, we have a microphone in the mail. Oh yeah. And hopefully our sound will improve, but we'll have better videos. Always improving, hopefully. So thanks for watching, and have a great day. Yep. Yeah. See, See you next, next time! time.